Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here bringing you episode 9 of my series, Who Performs Best. This is going to be the first quarter final and it will be Aguero vs Defoe. Now, a couple of things before I start this episode. Um, I am using a new mic, it's uh, part of the Logitech webcam, so I will be able to do face cams. Um, the pack opening that started yesterday, the million coin one, I recorded before I had this webcam so that won't have face cam but any other future sorry any future pack openings or wager matches where I'm doing the entire match will have a face cam it's pretty pointless to put it on to who performs best as I don't really talk during it I might change it up uh, later on in the series but anyway I've already pre-recorded season 1 so definitely for season 1 there'll be no f face cam maybe season 2 there will be Another thing you've probably already realised, as it's the background image of this video, is that I've changed the team. Uh, I thought a change was in order since it's a new round, and to be honest, it doesn't really matter uh, if the team's different or the same, because I'm only using it for the two strikers, so as long as the two strikers are in the team using the same team, it doesn't matter if someone else is using a different team, if that makes sense, because they're not going to be coming up against the other people that are using it. So for instance, Aguero Defoe, say I used a team for this, and then next episode I used a different team, where it's Jovetic Suarez, I think. It's not going to matter that they had a different team, they're not going to have an advantage over Aguero and Defoe, or vice versa. As long as the two strikers who are competing against each other have the same team, then it's fair in my opinion. Just thought I'd point that out. Anyway, I'm just going to run you through um, who's actually in the quarterfinals before I start this episode. So, obviously, Aguero uh, beat Soldado in episode 1, so Aguero's in the final against Defoe, who beat Benteke. Uh, Rooney got knocked out against Jovetic. Uh, Suarez beat Eto. Um, Hernandez beat Negredo. Remy beat Lukaku, uh, Van Persie beat Welbeck, and Torres beat Sturridge. So I'll run you through exactly who's went through. That was just to recap the episodes. So Aguero and Defoe is episode one. Jovetic Suarez is episode. Sorry, I'm not going to confuse you. Okay, Aguero Defoe is episode nine, but it's quarter final one. Jovetic Suarez is episode ten, but quarter final two. Hernandez Remy, which should be pretty interesting because they're both pretty pacey, pretty similar players, will be quarterfinal 3 and episode 11. And Van Persie Torres will be episode 12 and quarterfinal 4. And then we'll head into the semis, then we'll do a um, third place playoff and then the final. But anyway, let's just start this episode off, which will be Aguero versus Defoe. So let's just play the three games and see who progresses to the semi finals. Okay, so that game ended in a 3-2 win for me, which I'm glad of because that was a very, very even game. It was a very hard game, definitely. 
Uh, Aguero got an 8.6 rating, Defoe 7.7, which puts Aguero in the lead, but if you've watched any of my other videos in this series, that doesn't really mean anything. Um, I had 12 shots, all 12 on target, he had 19, 14 on target, and we had 50-50 possession. It was very, very even, but anyway, on to game two. Okay, that game did end in a 3-1 loss, uh, I probably did deserve to lose, probably about 2-1, but anyway, Aguero got a 6.6 .6 rating and Defoe 6.8, so quite close that match, so Aguero's still in the lead, I had 8 shots, 7 on target, he had 12, 10 on target, and he had a lot more possession, so yeah, I probably did deserve to lose, but anyway, on to game 3. Okay, so that did end in a 2-2 draw, um, he probably deserved to edge it, but I'm happy to get a draw. Anyway, Aguero got an 8.2 rating and Defoe a 6.9, so that makes it fairly obvious for who's went through, but I'll do the re uh, review at the end, as always. I had 5 shots, 4 on target, he had 13, 6 on target, even possession, it's quite even, but anyway, on to the match ratings. Okay, as I've just said, uh, it is fairly obvious who's went through, but I'll do the review as always. In game one, Aguero got 8.6, Defoe 7.7. .7. In game two, Aguero got 6.6, .6, Defoe 6.8. In game three, Aguero got 8.2, Defoe 6.9. The average match ratings for Aguero were 7.8 and Defoe 7.13. So that does mean that Aguero has won by around about 0.7-ish, about 0.67 I think, which is quite a lot in this series. Um, next game will be Jovetic versus Suarez and it will be the second quarter final, so that should be very interesting as both of them are great strikers in the BPL, uh, on FIFA 14 I think, and in real life probably if Man City actually decide to use Jovetic, but anyway, let's not get into real football, this is who performs best. Anyway, if you have enjoyed then please do hit that like button, it really does help my channel, subscribe for daily FIFA 14 videos, comment on anything you do want me to do, any improvements, and peace.
Thank you.